Hi guys, hey, uh, today we're playing again uh, with the rubber dummy uh, and uh, we tested another plate. This is uh, this time the plate uh, from the Steel Ops and they are using, this is a brand new plate, uh, their development AR600. So we never had the plates with the AR600, made out of the AR600. And as you can see, there is no penetration on the plate. We're shooting from the very close distance, 10 feet, 10 feet exactly measured from the uh, beginning of the plate to the muzzle end and that's a very close distance and uh, I have collected the speeds for all the rounds which we run through it today uh, on that rubber dummy and uh, as you can see we cut out the actually the, the shell for the plate survived but we cut it out to have a better pictures and uh, and everything but let me start I'll drop this let me start from the beginning uh, Paul we started with the 9 mil that was the Glock 17, 115 uh, gray grain, full metal uh, jacket, uh, bullet, and uh, any damage? No. No, no, there was absolutely no damage, like nothing happened yeah. on that plate from the very close distance. So against the pistol round, okay. absolutely yes. Yes. no uh, influence. And let's just pull out the plate. There is no, no penetration. No. Nope. Nothing. Okay. Clear hit here. And clean. Clean on the back. Okay. Yep. Then we bump it up uh, a little bit and uh, we went with the AK-74 type, if my memory serves yep. well. We used the 53 grain a uh, 7 and 6 uh, surplus uh, bullet, surplus round, and that round uh, delivered the speed of 3027 feet per second. So it's a fast round. Again, not nothing, damage. not much damage. It, it wasn't even a dent uh, on the plate. Uh, so the rubber dummy and that El Chipo, uh, again from Condor, <laughs> took at this fairly, fairly well. Still nothing. Okay, good to go. Then we switch to the uh, M4A1 Colt. Uh, this is the civilian version, so no burst on it. Uh, and we always uh, roll with the round in the chamber, weapon on burst, and this is my safety, right? <laughs> uh, but all joking aside, uh, first we use the XM193, this is the 55 grain round, and the speed uh, was 3106 feet per second, so extremely fast round, uh, but the light bullet not much. Right. Not much. No. Nothing. Indeed, he, did, he didn't even shook very much. And no penetration again on the plate. It was absolutely like, again, nothing happened. No bulge. What about the bap? And uh, nothing here. Clean. Clean. A little bit of debris, but it didn't penetrate. Yep. yep. The plate carrier is holding up nicely too, to be honest with you. Uh, then we went to the M855, the regular 62 grain. Again, Paul, you shot it and yep. nothing. Nope. Nothing. Uh, nothing but the recoil. Yep. <laughs> and that round, the, it delivers uh, 2,946 feet per second, so very close to 3,000 feet per second. And uh, for the speed measurements, we're using the lap radar. So this is the Doppler radar. You cannot be any more accurate. Plate survived. Okay. 556, yeah, right uh, both rounds are perfectly fine. Nothing, almost. Anything on the back? Nope. 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 And the butt, he'll still clean. All right. Well, that went smoother than I thought it will. Uh, it was time to uh, bump it up. Paul, if my memory serves well, I think the next one to use, we use the uh, 47 type. Yep. Uh, and uh, this is again uh, the mil spec 123 grain, the military surplus round with full metal jacket. And that round clocked uh, was first round for the AK, 2320 feet per second. So that's wow. a decent speed uh, yeah, on the muzzle velocity. 
and there was some sharpness damage uh, we we seen I think it was on the sleeve uh, if I remember that correctly so the pe plate withstand the hit but we could see some sharp nails flying towards I think it was arm right arm and uh, the, uh, at that point the sleeve from the the, the rubber sleeve the coating started splitting and you could see the the debris uh, flying towards the body parts you may say okay Okay, so it's interesting. Let's see the plate. A little bit more on the bottom. Yeah, yeah more, more of the debris. And there you go. This is this has to be it, right? I think. Yeah, three or here or that one. Mm -hmm. Okay, there you go. Now I will spray it too, so we'll know. This. But oh. Nope, nope, that's just the sticker. <laughs> it's just the sticker. But touch it, Paul, flat. Mm -hmm. No penetration on the plate. How's the edges? Here is, so uh, over here, I think those debris came out. Yep. Okay, and on your side, I think here. Yeah, and down here. Yeah. Next to kick, 7.62 by 54 R. This is a vapor, and I use the full metal jacket uh, on it round again. This is the surplus uh, round, and uh, that round delivers 2,650 feet per second. It's a 16 inches barrel, so a little bit slower than the 20 inch uh, barrel. And uh, honestly, that there was some some debris. Yep. Uh, on the edges, some smoke, I think, started coming out, but not that much deformation. Uh, I mean, there was no deformation, no nothing. It's probably not enough speed on that round to make a difference. Yeah. All right, we'll pop the plate. Yep, there were some debris you know, flying over. And here's the hit. So you can clearly see it hit yep. and the uh, plate starting to take. It's starting to uh, split on this split. side. Okay, anything underneath? Uh, but I feel the bulge too, Paul. Oh, yep, look, there is yeah, a bulge. Right here. Right here. Yep. It's a bulge. So he will, anything, but here no bullet penetration, okay? Nope. But uh, at that point, we started switching to uh, the faster, uh, the faster, heavier round. And uh, what we got here, this is a Tika uh, T3, and this is a 270 Winchester. It's a typical hunting rifle. And on that one, we use the 130 grain uh, GMX Hornandy round. So it's a it's a hunting round. And but that round, guys, clocks at. 3180 feet per second and uh, Paul it was a dent yeah. it was a serious dent so on the plate also uh, I think we had the damage yes on the, to the to the chin to the chin on the on the uh, our labor dummy so uh, yes the the plate wasn't defeated the you know there is a bump so you definitely probably have a, maybe a broken ribs uh, on the on the chest uh, from the bump uh, and you could see the force the the, the, the rubber dummy shook uh, but also you took some sharp nails uh, to the body and that would be nasty yeah that that would be nasty it's a clear hit right here and I feel the bulge yep yep there's a bulge. okay can we well, turn it away there is a oh there is a bolt. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you will feel that one. Yeah. Yep. Uh, that was not the end of the fun. We crank it up and we using my uh, AR-10, which is a 308 uh, Winchester, and we use the regular M80 full metal jacket surplus round. This is not the M80 A1. As you guys know, the, there is a newer round with the better penetration uh, penetrator core, but uh, we do not have access to that round. But still, M80 
uh, delivered it, uh, the serious punch. This is 147 grain round and the speed was 2725 feet per second. So that round flies. And again, a penetration on the plate. You can feel the dent. Uh, I don't remember that we had the sharp nails. Yeah, I will have to review. Yeah, we had, oh, it's still stuck. It's still stuck in the chin. So again, uh, serious consequences. First of all, you will have uh, probably uh, some, you know, hit to the to the belly or whatever the plate or to the ribs. It depends where the, where the, where you will get hit. But again, this is a 10 feet distance. This is the execution style, basically uh, distance. Uh, if you getting hit from 20 inch barrel from the AR-10 from that distance, you did something horribly wrong, <laughs> or you have a bad day. Uh, but again, Again, that round put the dent. Oh, yeah. So uh, you will feel for sure the 270 Winchester and the, that 308 uh, both fast rounds and uh, speed kills. Speed kills. So very good plates. AR 600, AR 600 steel. Uh, definitely surprising results because uh, I was really shocked to see that uh, it wasn't penetrated and uh, it took the hits very very well it protected and even that El Chipo counter plate you can see that the fragmentations and, and everything but look how many hits we did on the plate so would you wear this plate Paul yeah from, from self-defense situation if you if I'll have a chance I will have no problem yeah absolutely, absolutely. the guys from the steel ups did a great job all right guys let us know if you have any questions and uh, we'll continue to test uh, from time to time the body armor plates because it's fun. Yeah. <laughs> it's fine. Thanks for watching.